I've been using Fedora for about a year now, and it's been a great experience, but it's about time I switched to Arch Linux. I will be documenting my experience with Arch Linux over the next 30 days, so subscribe to stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to power on the computer and hold the escape key. Okay, so that is for my computer. Um, for yours, it may be the um, F12, F10, it varies. So now we're going to press, in my case, F9. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have our USB drive over here. So we're gonna to switch to that. We're going to hit enter. Okay, so I have successfully connected to the internet. The reason you don't see it here is because I uh, cleared that, but now we're going to run through the installation. So it's Arch install. This is the easy way of installing it. There's also a harder way. And speaking of, if you want to install Arch for yourself, I'll, I'm going to have an installation guide that I made um, link in the top right corner. But here we're going to do the, the easy way. And the hard way is basically type command after command. You have to know the commands. It's not really that hard when you get used to it, but at first it is. In this case, the reason we're doing it the easy way is because I just want to save time. So we're just going to hit enter. Okay, so now we have enter, enter the um, installer. So I'm just going to run through this real quick. Okay, it's asking if I want to troot into the new system. So I'm just going to select no. And I'm going to reboot now. So let's do that real quick. Okay. Oh, yep, it entered. And we're in. So now we just got to log in. And I have successfully installed Arch. Okay, so as you can see, I've chosen GNOME because it's my favorite desktop environment, and I'm not into the whole window manager rising thing yet. And I've installed all the apps I need and even customized Arch a little bit with Blur My Shell to give GNOME this beautiful blur, a better window switcher, and a different, more Arch-themed wallpaper. When I ran it for the first time, I noticed that it's fast. Like, really fast. Way faster than Fedora was, presumably because Arch is so lightweight and I had tons of files and apps and bloat on my Fedora install. So far, it's going pretty well. But one thing interesting I noticed is that GNOME software only shows flat packs. No Arch repo packages and no AUR packages, although for two different reasons. The reason you can't add the AUR to GNOME software is because the AUR is not a Pac-Man repo, and I believe the plugin required to use regular Arch repos in GNOME software was removed due to being able to break the system by uninstalling packages or updating them offline. Now, I can officially say I use Arch by the way. Like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss our awesome Linux and tech videos and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.